Welcome back to In Ohio Country Today. Joining me now is Andy Farley from State Bank and Alan Davis from Allen Davis Insurance Agency. We're going to talk about a very important event coming up next week, in fact, Ag Lunch and Learn. So, Andy, let's start with you. How did this come to fruition? Well, during the course of the year, uh, we have opportunity to go see um, and hear experts through the extensions office but I thought we needed something um, during the ag year to get a little bit more information and a little bit updated and uh, maybe even a little bit more closer uh, camaraderie and um, ability to ask a little bit pointed questions versus just hearing from uh, folks that don't really know our area. Now, Andy, of course, you work with a lot of farmers, a lot of producers, people in the ag community. What's important about this mid-year time frame to kind of get them to come out to an event like this? We're always, it seems, looking at the historical aspect of what happened. And I thought it would give us a different wrinkle if we kind of said, well, here's what the anticipation is. And maybe just like they do in the regular markets, um, people can you know, discuss the way they want to treat things depending on what they hear next week. And Alan, of course, you're a business owner, active farmer. We talk about that all the time on our television show in Ohio country today. From a producer's standpoint, how important is a ag lunch and learn event like this for you? Well, Dan, you know, so many times we'll have our meetings in the spring and we'll focus on what's the, what, what are, what is the anticipated acres? You know, there's always the planning intentions report that's always big and those kind of things. And what's significant about this is right now, uh, next week, within these next two or three weeks, uh, you know, a lot of the crop here in Ohio, the, 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 the will be determined, right? Is it going to be good, bad, average, what, right? Mm. And, and, and of course, as we're watching right now, the crop progress reports are so important, right? What's a good to excellent rating conditions this year, last year, five-year average, those kind of things. And those are posted every week. And so when you have an event like this, um, this will kind of give somebody some insight to say, okay, um, you know, what are we seeing? You know, we're going to have the weather. We're going to have Aaron Wilson from Ohio State University here with the weather. Right. But what, what, what do you see for the next 30, 60 days and harvest? What's that going to look like, maybe? Uh, you know, and of course, uh, you know, uh, some, our uh, a person, the grain merchandiser we're going to have from Stone X, you know, and that's going to be very helpful to see, OK, what what's that going to look like from the standpoint of what, how much grain should I sell? Right. Is the basis going to get better? Is the basis going to get worse? And I think uh, right now the producers need to be thinking about things like that because they might not have enough storage do i have enough storage so this is a pretty this this event is pretty timely right now i think for the producer and a lot of times we just don't see an event like this happening mid-year usually it's in the spring or you know in the, in, in the in the winter time so you know this is i think a great opportunity for producers to get that information and, and Andy, when dealing with producers from a financial standpoint, it's all about profitability, right? So this is this is a great opportunity maybe to, to not only look at year end, but maybe even look into uh, 2023 and what they can do to prepare to make sure they're protecting their bottom line, right? Right, exactly. So a lot of our clients are multi-generational oh. that have been with us for quite some time. We're a real strong um, advocate of the ag community in West Central and Northwest Ohio. Been around since 1903 doing this thing. So um, it's important that we help them forecast or uh, prepare financially for the things that are to come. And Alan, we're not, we're talking a little bit about diversity too, as far as welcoming people uh, into this egg lunch and learn. It's, it's not just for, uh, grain producers, right? That's, that's right. Uh, you know, it's, um, not just, it could be, you could be a livestock producer. You could be, uh, somebody that's in the, in the supply, the chemical supply right. business, the, you know, the, the, uh, the grain merchandising, the, you know, the, um, livestock producer, right. 
uh, or you could be a real estate and you could be in the real estate business. Where do you think the value of real estate's got to go? So, so this there's there's a lot of things uh, for everybody, uh, you know, uh, it, that we're going to be offering uh, in this lunch and learn uh, uh, session. And of course, we we always do like a spring uh, interview, or or we always do like a spring uh, seminar when it comes to risk management, Alan. And Andy, so this midterm risk management opportunity, like I said, gives them an opportunity maybe to even take a closer look at where they're at today. You know, we're not only looking at the end of the year and maybe into next year, but where they're, where they're at today as far as that bottom line. That's correct. We, we want to make sure that, you know, we review most of our relationships on an annual basis with the uh, ag clients and any time that we can get ahead of that curve and provide them with some insight on uh, right. how their this might affect their financial situation, that we feel that that just helps in the long run. Alan, let's talk about the date and time location as well. Uh, most certainly. So uh, the the uh, the event's going to be August the uh, 9th at the American Legion here in Wapakoneta. Uh The event starts at eleven. Um, and it will be over, you know, we're going to say it's going to be over by one because we don't want to keep you all day, right? Uh, lunch will be served around 1130. Uh, so we'll you know, eat your lunch while we're doing our presentation. So it's not like, um, you know, we're going to have a lot going on. And I think uh, it'll be it'll be fast paced. It'll have a lot of information. Yeah. And, I, and I know the speakers will be really uh, have a lot of great information and they'll be very entertaining in their presentation. Mm -hmm. So it's not uh, like, oh, like somebody's going to stand up there like and you just have to listen to somebody drone on. But they're, they're, they'll be very entertaining presentations to give you a lot of material. Andy, what we also want to emphasize is the fact that if you can't make it to an event, you're always there from a consultative standpoint to kind of work with our producers to uh, once again check what their needs are to make sure that they're checking all the boxes, if you will, regardless of what time of the year it is, right? That's correct. The um, manager of our uh, ag department is a producer himself and go. knows exactly what is uh, needed to make sure that things are taken care of on uh, your place or his place or similar places um, to make the best product and um, come out profitable as possible. And, and Alan, from a producer standpoint, it's always good that you're learning from people who really have their feet and boots on the ground when it comes to agriculture, right? Yeah, that's that's right. Because uh, you know, <clears throat> a lot of a lot of uh, of our clients, uh, you know, we we do this stuff as well, right? So we understand. What the client's going through, and it's kind of important uh, to that you can really relate when you say, "Hey, you know, how, how are your how how is your corn looking right now?" Oh, mine look, you know, mine's look, you know, mine's looking okay. Mine's this, mine's that, right? I've been out uh, <clears throat> walking in my field, you know, uh, checking the progress, looking at the pollination. You know, the corn pollinated very well, which it has pollinated very well. We've had favorable weather for that, um, and uh, you know, so so people can relate to that. You know, if you say. Well, you know, hope your corn looks okay. Well, I can tell you mine, I think, is, is looking is looking pretty pretty good right now. We've had and you know, had some timely rains and it's been very helpful. But you're right, I can I understand what the producer goes through. Uh you can't get it planted timely if you got a drought, if you got bugs, if you got fungus, if you got wh whatever it might be, right? So uh that that's kind of important when I want to help somebody manage their risk uh and, and help them make the right decisions, or at least uh, the best decisions possible for their operation, um, for their for what their budget allows, and, and uh, you know, make sure that they're going to be in business for for years to come, uh, based on some decision that I might help them make uh, when it comes to their risk management, whether it be crop insurance, their liability coverage. Do you have enough liability insurance? Something is something bad. If something bad happens. You know, do you have enough coverage? People really don't stop to think about that. And, uh, you know, so that's all part of what we do holistically looking under risk management picture. So, uh, you know, make sure your crops are protected and make sure that your assets are protected. 
We're talking about the Ag Lunch and Learn. It's all about the learn. And we're talking about getting news and information from experts at this Ag Lunch and Learn. The date and time, once again, Andy. Yes, it's Tuesday, August 9th, 11 to 1 at the American Legion in Wapakoneta. I talked to the carry over at the American Legion just yesterday to make sure things were ready to go. And he said if they show up at 11 hungry, he'll have plenty for them. (laughs) Well, that's all good news. Andy Farley from State Bank and Alan Davis from Alan Davis Insurance Agency have been our guests talking about the Ag Lunch and Learn Tuesday, August 9th at the American Legion Post 330 in Wampakoneta. We hope to see you there starting at 11 a.m. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. Thanks, Dan. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you.